So what are Barefoot shoes? What are the benefits and should you be wearing them? I'm James the Osteopath with three clinics in the UK and I'm really, really involved with foot health, leg health, function, bodies and everything else. So listen up and we're gonna run through the four major benefits right now. So number one, it's got a wide toe box. The benefit of that is because it fits the shape of our feet. Over time, the shoes that we wear have narrowed off at the toe here. And what that means is it compresses the toes, not in a major way, but enough just to move the joints together, which compresses this area. And over time, that leads to a more pointed toe shape, which can then lead on to things like bunions. And that's of course something to avoid because that one doesn't look very good, two, it's not very functional, but three, you might have to have an operation where they actually sort of move the joint back into position and just fuse it. We do not want that. Now you can see here a natural barefoot shoe has a wider toe box and the benefit of that is that your toes will sit in the shoe in its anatomical position, straight toes, and that's exactly what we want. We want our toes straight. It makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Number two, the sole is totally flat. There's no arch support. Now with a shoe like this, there's a big arch support in the shoe. And if you've got a normal foot that has no problems, why would you think that the foot needs to be supported? It makes a lot of sense that, yeah, all supports are good, we all want support, but on the other hand, the foot doesn't need support. If you support something, what you're doing is you're allowing it to rely on something else. So then you get a weakening of the foot, you get a weakening of the arch in the foot. And then when you've not got that support, you've lost that and you go barefoot and the arch drops. So don't support the arch over and over again, all day, every day. Start wearing shoes that and make your feet function the way they've always been designed to or the way they've evolved to. So we do not want a support in the arch. We want it to be nice and flat so our feet can function the way they're meant to. Number three, the sole of the shoe is flat. You do want a flat sole. You do not want an increased raise in the heel. Why would you need or want that? If it's a running shoe, that's something different, but certainly for everyday shoes, you want it nice and flat so that your calf is at its natural tension. If you raise the heel up, you're shortening the calf. It makes a lot of sense when you look at it like this. If you're here and you raise the heel up like that, the muscle that runs down through the back here is shortened slightly. Only slightly, but it is shortened. Now, it is only slightly, but if you leave it like that, all day, every day, then that muscle will naturally shorten and then you get tight calves. We don't want tight calves because then when you start wearing barefoot shoes or just going barefoot, the calves are then at a tension, which is not what we want. So to improve the function of the calf muscle up through here, we want a zero drop. Again, zero drop means the thickness of the heel sole and the forefoot sole is the same. So that's the one benefit there again. We've got the zero drop, we've got no arch support, and we've got a wide toe box. The next thing that we really want in a barefoot shoe is a lot of flexibility in the sole. I can fold this up. It's very, very soft and flexible. A, a, a shoe like this is, it's, it's absolutely solid. It's not gonna flex. And some shoes even have a carbon plate put into the shoe when you're running to propel you Yes, it helps you run faster, but it's absolutely taking function away from the foot. So on a fast run day or race day, it's useful. Generally though, we do want more flexibility in the shoe that we're wearing. The benefit of that is that your foot will interact with the ground the way it is meant to. We've evolved over thousands of years with our feet moving and flexing and going over things. And that's the way that all the muscles and joints in the foot are designed to work. If we're totally taking that away and walking on a big pad, we've lost all that function in the foot. Our flexibility in all the joints in the feet reduces. The strength in all the tiny, tiny muscles through the foot reduces. And problems like plantar fasciitis, um, all these different issues with the, uh, the big first MTP joint here, the big toe joint, they all start escalating and building. We lose the, uh, the arch in the foot because the arch starts to drop. These are all issues that we get where we continue to pad our feet with things like this and not wear a proper barefoot shoe. Think about it like this. If you had a boxing glove on your hand, you would be very protected, but you wouldn't be able to move your hand very much. You wouldn't be able to pick things up. You'd lose all the dexterity to do little tasks. You'd lose the strength through the muscles. 
And of course, it would all get very, very stiff and tight in here. When you finally take the glove off after years of wearing it, you'd have a very weak hand. You wouldn't have much flexibility in the joints. And of course, you'd totally not be able to do up a shoelace or do buttons up. You'd lose all the function in your hand. We don't want to do the same thing with our feet. The true idea of a barefoot shoe is that our feet are going to be better if we didn't have shoes on our feet and they were functioning with the floor naturally, the way our hands naturally function with the world. But we can't go barefoot all the time, so we have to have a shoe that will fill that gap and that is the benefit of a barefoot shoe. So there's many different brands out there. We're not, oh God, we're not gonna run through them in this video, but just know you want a wide toe box, you want a flexible sole, you want no arch support, and then lastly, you do want a zero drop. If you want more barefoot shoe help, go to my channel. There's lots and lots of videos on barefoot shoes. You'll see them there.